Hey everyone, John from Ride Upstate. So I wasn't planning to release a video today. <laughs> I had a short earlier about that. But Steve from Paro reached out to me and he just wanted to share a few words of caution when it comes to contacting support, um, DoorDash support about using Para. So we're going to switch to this really quick uh, side by side of a Zoom call that I did with him. And then I'll be back with some closing comments. So Steve uh, from Para is joining me today and he saw my recent video about calling support and he just kind of wanted to quickly react to it and maybe share a few words of caution when it comes to contacting support <laughs> about Para. Go ahead, Steve. So, yeah, so um, basically just, you know, I loved the video, by the way, because it proved that you called on a, you know, you called into support and, le and that level one tier answered the phone and, and they had to pause and go ask a superior and they came back and said, yeah. And I mean, <clears throat> I understand that people might feel like, you know, I mean, we're going to have people trolling that or feeling this way, but one thing for sure, I know John's planning on doing a couple more calls yeah. um, and some videos where he's going to call back and see again, and then try and get a little higher up the ladder than just uh, your average support person. Um, so I would just recommend to everybody, and this is just my personal recommendation so that I feel it off my chest, like I've done my good deed, is that let John do this and uh, let's see what happens from this testing. Do remember that um, DoorDash is in no way support for Para. Um, right. So if you're, if you're having an issue with the Para app, don't, it's probably not a good idea to call DoorDash and I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do. It's, it's, it's your choice, what you want to do. I'm just saying DoorDash does not in any way support Para. Now, whether they're allowing it, that's a different matter, but they do not have a support team. They will not help you with anything Para. And I just wanted to make sure that you, that people are distinguishing between the two as the users on the para app grow. Um, I just want to make sure that nobody accidentally calls and says, you know, Hey, I'm having issues with para. I think we can all understand why too, because that could really, you know, as users grow, that could cause a real problem down the line with bombarding them. And that could change the dynamic that right now seems to be okay. Right. And so one of the things that I do, Steve just mentioned, one of the things that I do plan to do is I'll call support probably a couple more times because we want to see how this is going to be responded to. I did see in the comments of my last video where some people are calling and they're saying, yes, you can use it, but they caution you against using it. And one person got a no. And I understand it's first level support um, and, and they have to work off of a script. So I'm going to keep making those calls and I'm actually going to try and get in touch with somebody at corporate as well so we can get a definitive answer. Given the number of people that are using the app right now, uh, they would lose a large number of drivers at this point if they started deactivating people who were using the app. So it, it may be right now that kind of the unofficial word, so to speak, is we're going to let right. people use this app until they can figure out how to block it. <laughs> well, and that's and that's the and that's really how I see it too. Is that um, you know, bottom line is is like we told you in the beginning. If you don't feel comfortable using the app, then don't use the app. If you do, then use the app because we know everybody using it's doing way better using the app than not. However, you know, uh, you know. If anything, I think that they would try and uh, deal with DoorDash would probably try and deal with Para and in a way that they used to do with like Maestro. They would try right. and deal with like just disconnecting us and not not like uh, not taking any but uh, dashers off the platform necessarily. They're more cons if anything, they would become concerned with taking down us, not you. And that's not really a concern of ours at this time. However, we do want to stress caution to the drivers and dashers to say, listen, you know, just 
you know, don't maybe just don't, you know, there's no need to call them. However, I'm not trying to be secretive here. If you feel you need to go ahead, um, obviously you're going to do what you want people. I'm just, I want to feel better knowing I did the right thing and warning you to maybe, you know, leave DoorDash <coughs> support for DoorDash calls and, yeah. and, and, and let the para stuff be para because we, we're still figuring stuff out too all the time. So we just right. want to do our best to protect the dashers. Great. Hey, Steve, thanks for uh, for joining me and kind of giving us this little word of caution. I think some people, you know, they might look at that video and they might have thought it was staged, you know, a, lo a lot of different things. But I think the one thing we don't want is uh, to overwhelm DoorDash's support uh, with non-support calls, right? Because if you're right. having a problem with the DoorDash app, you don't want to have to wait 10 or 15 minutes because there's a bunch of people who are calling and asking about Para. And right, and exactly. And that could change the dynamic over at the support center too on how they're handling this. Right, right. You know, I mean, so we just wouldn't want that. And, and, they, and they might not, still not care, but they might start saying, yes, don't use that. They might start using language that they don't even really care about. Like, or they don't, they, they just want to, they just want you to, us to stop calling. So they start saying, yeah, don't use pair app. Right. But really it's like it right now. It seems like I know it's just John did a video just with a first tier person, but those first tier people, one last thing I got to say is those first tier people are very able to say no. I can say yeah. that personal experience. They, they, at all of these app based companies, they will say no when they need to say no. One thing they did not do to John is say no. She put him on hold. She checked and said yes. I mean, usually if if, if in doubt, they're told to say no. Right. <laughs> you yeah. know, I mean, that first level is it just is taught. Don't give in. Don't don't step away from the guide. So I think that call was a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think it, I mean, I think that, you know, whatever other calls you make are going to be great, but I think that was, it was some proof. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Steve, uh, we'll talk again sometime yes. when, uh, when I have more information and, uh, and it, I'll, I'll of course share it. I just wanted all first. the, I just want all the dashers to be as careful as you can while we're figuring all this out. Sure. You sure. know, absolutely. Cause we know you're all, everybody's, everybody using it's loving it. I mean, why wouldn't you, you know, it's a great tool, but <laughs> So let's keep it a great tool and just not, let's just be careful. Everybody be, just be careful. Just, you know, do what feels right to you. Right. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk to you again, Steve. Thanks, John. So once again, uh, I think it's pretty clear right now that you won't get deactivated for using Para, but what we don't want to happen is a bunch of people calling up support saying uh, either number one, looking for support for Para or number two, looking to get questions answered about para the more i mean we're not trying to be sneakier on the sly but what we don't want to do is draw too much attention to the app so i'm going to try and make some phone calls see if i can get a hold of some people if you work for doordash corporate get in touch with me i would love to talk about this and know what the official word is from corporate until next time my name is john from ride upstate reminding you that just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.